Welcome to the Zarvio Digital Farming Help Videos, powered by DASF. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a new farm, as well as how to navigate one of our new features called the Cross Farm Dashboard. Over here on the left hand side in my status bar, you can see I have all my fields. Slightly above it, you'll see a black line that says your name and your farm. This will be your farm's name. If you click the drop down arrow to the right, as you go down, you'll see a blue area that says add new farm. If you have another farm or another farm in a location that you'll be using for field manager, click this and give the name to your new farm. Select save. From here, you'll then transition over to where you can start bringing in new border files. But now, let's talk about the new feature, the Cross Farm Dashboard. Once again, go above the status bar to the black line in the drop down menu. Here, you can see all the different farms I have, as well as anyone else who has shared their farm access with me. At the very top, click on where it says Cross Farm Dashboard. This feature is designed for you to go through and quickly navigate and easily find out information about all the farms and fields that you have access to. To do so, we need to go through and generate through our filter system. First, we see farms. Select the drop down menu and you'll see all the different farms that you have access to. If you're looking to do an inquiry to see how many canola fields you have, how many canola fields might have disease risks, how many winter wheat fields we have tasks for, you can do this all from the cross farm dashboard. Select a farm. From there, you can even add more farms to it. Find a second farm that you wish to bring in. You can even add another farm if you wish. From here, let's go down to crops. From the drop down menu, you can see that these are all the different crops that we have inside Zarvio Fuel Manager. So let's say for these three farms, I only wanted to look at my canola fields. Place a blue check mark beside canola. Go down to the bottom and press update filter. Anytime that you make changes on this, you need to make sure that you press the update filter. As you can see, as we go to the three tabs to the right, under general, of these three farms, I have 21 total canola fields, adding up to 3,000 acres. If we click on general, right below here, it says canola, there's a drop-down menu. These are all the different canola fields I have in these three farms that have canola. You can always go back by pressing the back arrow on the top left. If we go under risks and recommendations, if we click on that, we'll be able to see that there's potential for disease risks in 15 of my fields. To do so, collect, select disease at the top right. And these are all the potential fields that could have a potential risk going forward. Let's press back one more time. Also, if we've gone through and created tasks for these fields, whether it's an observation or maybe creating a fungicide prescription map for a zone spray application, all those tasks can be tracked inside this system as well. As you can see, I've done some test ones over the last little while, and they'll let me know whether it's planned, overdue, or executed. You can drop down each one of these things to give you the actual field that was sprayed. Once again, you can go back. Now let's say we wanted to look at another crop set as well as keeping our canola. So if we add winter wheat to the mix and corn, go down and select update filter. As you can see now, I'm now at 23 fields as opposed to 21. And broken down under general, we can see exactly which fields I have are winter wheat and which fields I have are corn. 
as well as the Parliament Society. This is a quick breakdown of the CrossFarm dashboard and how it's used. Make sure when you're going through the filter system, you always press update filter. Without updating the filter, the stats won't change. This is one of the many features that can help you make more informed decisions for the growing season.